our schools are basically underground because at the end of the day if maybe someday the taliban won't like it and then they harass a girl or two and it scares the whole girls out right and then nobody would want to show up We are a very grassroots level organization and we mainly focus on girls' education and STEM. We have around 100 girls who are ready to be girl leaders and interact with their own communities as doctors, as midwives, as engineers, as architects, as teachers in their own capacity. And for that, we have to continue with teaching them, with making sure that they access the STEM school. If these uh, girls continue to go to school, they will become professionals, they will be paying their taxes, and they will be responsible citizens of Afghanistan that sustains the country through their taxes. organization actually grew our base to 7,000 girls and then we shrink to 100 girls because right now it's very hard to educate girls to get all uh, this big number again into schools. We have to understand the fact that girls are not banned from school. There is a legal loophole to understand and we don't know when it will open up. So just imagine the, the fact that the Taliban right now are oppressing just girls from class 7 to class 12. But in the long run, they're oppressing healthcare workers, they're oppressing midwives, they're oppressing teachers, they're oppressing literally the 50% of the country just because they can. The first thing that a young girl uh, can access is access to education and that's what they have taken away in the past three uh, to four months. In one area, for example, southern Afghanistan, the teachers were harassed who were going to school and teaching from class 1 to class 6, that is legally open. And when we asked them, they didn't want to return to school. So that's how you scare the teachers off. Girls' education today is actually affecting the future of Afghanistan in the long run. 30% of the workforce that we have today that is at home is actually women. Our banks are collapsing, our humanitarian uh, system is collapsing, our regional hospitals are collapsing, and this all could have been sustained only if we would have let the women teach the girls go to school, and that's not happening right now. Schools were burned down. Uh, NGOs, NGO workers who actually work with schools were attacked. Because education has always been uh, at risk when it comes to Afghanistan, because the majority of the parties involved in conflict target girls' education first, girls' schools first, girls in schools first. Even before our Kabul was taken over, um, two months ago there was Sayyidul Shoda school in Burki that was attacked, and the girls are still suffering, and nobody talks about it. Make sure that you reach out to your representatives and ask them to pressurize your president into pressurizing the Taliban, into opening the schools, into opening the workplaces for women. You could do that. Please use that power for once for, for the women of Afghanistan and for the girls of Afghanistan.